Hey, what's up, folks? Carafe Farms here. Welcome back to Forest River, North Dakota. So, finally getting around to upload, uh, well, not only uploading some videos, but uh, recording some as well. As you can see here, we are on our last field of oats. And uh, we got the headlands done. We're working on our up and down passes here and uh, trying to get things done. Um, if you see, our money is a little bit different from the last video. Since last video, um, I did fill two trucks and uh, we hauled them into the elevator. Uh, we got around 25,000 for each load. And uh, so we were up to 90,000, but we made a little purchase that is going to help us out um, over the rest of harvest. And uh, we still have to go pick them up. And uh, we're going to do that once we go and dump these trailers <clears throat> we'll uh, swing down to the dealership and uh, pick things up um, let's see we're gonna just dump what we got here So we'll get this dumped while we wait for him to make his way back. All right. And now we just kind of have to wait. Might fill up though on his way down. Next thing that we'll do is we'll have to get all of this here straw baled up and uh, get some straw for our cows. So we'll be making straw from our oats and then we'll also have straw uh, from our corn. So we should have quite a bit of straw. We do have quite a bit of uh, corn, so even with chopping a bunch of it, I think we'll still get quite a bit. Yeah, he's going to fill up before he can get to the end. That's unfortunate. Well, we'll wait for him to fill up. And we'll pick them up, and then we should have enough to fill that truck. And then we can go start dumping trucks. He's gonna make it right to the end. Man. So 
So close. So I figured I have a little bit of time that I would uh, get a couple videos out for you guys. Uh, we are going to be starting uh, combining again here on Tuesday. You're seeing this on Monday, so by the time you're seeing this, we're probably combining. I know the boss wants to... We're going to get everything moved on Monday, and uh, knowing my boss, I'm sure that once we get there, we're going to start combining. Okay, we're going to pull this out here in the open. shut it down all right so we're gonna grab this first truck and uh, we'll see you guys at the elevator okay and we are good to go so let's go get this uh, dumped here we get from it. This trailer unloads a lot slower than the other trailer does. So we got 22,000. We lost 2,000 on, uh, or 200, because we're a little bit wet. But not bad. So, now we'll uh, run down to the dealership and take a look at uh, our purchase. Alright, we're just coming up to the dealership here. Nice big field here. Be a nice one. So we're just pulling up and you guys can probably already see it. But uh, we picked up two new trailers. Um, we got 42 foot mowers. Uh, so we do have one mower already on our Kenworth, um, but that's just the single axle mower. Oh, did not make a wide enough turn here. Or I made too wide of a turn, I should say. We don't want to hit our brand new trailer. So this trailer is going to get unhooked and uh, we're gonna hook up to our other trailer here. Let's 
So this will help a lot on our, um, especially unloading at the bins on our auger. So let's get her opened up and let's take a look. So this will be a way, way nicer trailer. The only thing I don't like is the tarp is on the wrong side. But we'll make do with it here. Um, yeah, so we're going to head back to the field, go grab the other truck, and we'll get that one dumped, <clears throat> pick up that one's trailer, and we'll see you guys back at the field. Alrighty. And we are back. We are going to get Jim unloaded here. We only have a couple of rounds left, so we're getting close to the end. Then we can uh, get everything moved home and start washing. And anything that needs fuel will get filled up. All that kind of stuff. I'm sure looks like our combine is about half a tank I know we got a truck that's getting down there on fuel as well so let's get our new trailers filled up right at the edge there so we'll see how much we can fit in a trailer now <clears throat> should be a little bit more so we can fit three quarters of a cart in one hopper, so that's good to know. All right. Now, while we're waiting, let's run down here. Let's grab the pickup. And we're going to take this fuel trailer into the yard. And get it over so it's over with the, uh... Header trailer there. So that way we're one step closer to ready to move home. gonna unhook this back over here where it goes because it'll be sitting here for a little bit perfect <clears throat> okay now we'll go and grab the header trailer I see the combine is full so we can go pick him up again. Get this hooked on to the header trailer here quick I'm not exactly sure where the hitch is it's 
right about in here. Yep. Okay. We're going to <clears throat> flip this around. We're going to get it out here in the field a little bit so that way we can see it a little nicer. Perfect. All right. <clears throat> Let's get him picked up here. I think, oh, not quite. Thought we would have enough to fill that trailer up the rest of the way, but we're gonna be a little short, so we'll wait until he <coughs> gets down here to the end and turns around, then we'll just get a full cart. And we can top off our first trailer and uh, then we'll have some to dump on our second and I think everything should fit between these two trucks and the green cart we probably will have to bring one truck back to the farm and uh, unload the cart but we'll see I'm not sure yet I think we only got I would say three, four rounds left, and then we're done. So, <clears throat> He's definitely moving slow. <clears throat> but we should be able to get a full cart. It. thought we would be able to, but we got enough that uh, we can go fill the last of this truck up. <clears throat> it's 
So I think we'll get this <clears throat> topped off. And then uh, we'll get wrapped up and we'll come back right at the end. And uh, then we'll get things moved home. Or actually, I might move everything home. And then to finish off, we will um, get everything cleaned up and emptied. And then uh, we'll be done with the first part of harvest. And then we can start baling everything. Because <clears throat> we're going to have a lot of straw uh, between these two fields to get baled up and hauled. So... <clears throat> We will uh, get that all done. We gotta go pick him up here before he gets to the end. So I think he'll go down and come back. And uh, then he'll be finished. Come on. I should swing out a little faster. We'll get him so he's empty before he heads back down. And, uh, yeah, then we'll see you guys back at the yard. Alrighty, folks. And we are here in the yard, so we're going to get everything washed up. And, uh, wrap up this first part of harvest, finally. And we did end up selling every all the rest of our grain uh, that we got we had the front hopper of our second truck full and then a little bit in the back yet uh, we got about 66,000 roughly 65 um, from what we had left in the field so we got a little bit of money to keep us kind of moving on, moving forward, uh, so we can pay some bills and whatnot. So, that is going to be very helpful. Alright, let's get this combine moved. Uh, we're probably just going to leave everything sitting out for now. Let's see here. Where do we want to put things? Um, once we go to, I think corn is going to be our next crop. And we're going to put mostly corn here in the yard. Um, the beans. We're for sure going to use the two bins at uh, our rented yard uh, for beans. And then we'll probably put um, corn in these three bins. And either one of the other bins here at home or the uh, bin at Jim's. And then the sunflowers will go either in the two bins here or one of the bins here in the bin at Jim's, whichever. Um, I'm kind of thinking of putting the corn down at Jim's, and then we can just keep the sunflowers in the two bins we have here. Then we don't have to... Um, jump between two completely different bins for it. Either way, we'll be jumping around with it, so it, uh, realistically, it doesn't really matter. I'm just kind of trying to keep things grouped um, somewhat, so we'll see how things kind of work out. 
the flat that way again I want my draper. There we go. Okay, let's clean this pickup up a little bit. Spin this around, pull this up by the combine there. We did get quite a bit of oats though uh, for just those two small fields there. So that is excellent. The more grain, the better. All right, let's unhook this right here. We're just gonna pull this up in front of the house or in front of the garage I should say alright we got these two trucks to wash up and we'll get these pulled out of the way the trailers are of course clean maybe you just hit them with a quick spritz they shouldn't really need Yes, okay, it is 17%. Surprising. Okay, and then these trucks, we're just gonna spin around. up alongside the Quonset there. There's that truck. Get this one done. As much as I like this cab over, I cannot wait to get rid of it because this thing is just overbearingly loud. It's too much. Way too much. Puts the trailer off here. Perfect. Right, let's get this pulled up next to the other one, and then uh, we are golden. And I have to talk with Jim and see if he wants to go bale straw or if he wants me to go do it. He had talked about uh, taking the baler out, so we'll see, I guess. Perfect. Alrighty, let's take a look here quick and see what we got for oats in storage. We got 9,700 bushels in storage. And uh, right now we're kind of down in the bottoms, just about down to the lowest price point here. Or we are at the lowest price point, we're in July. So December is uh, kind of the higher price, so 
We'll uh, see if we can't get some contracts made for uh, in December. Pretty good yield map, so I'm happy with that. Can't quite uh, complain there with that. And our environmental score is up there really well. Uh, our weed control is low pH value and nitrogen, even though um, we stay on top of the weeds, all that stuff. So who knows? Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for this video, folks. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you all in the next one.